Well, you made it. It's the end of week two of rest, recovery, and relaxation, our three R's, promoting good sleep habits so that we can wake up tomorrow feeling recharged, refreshed, and rejuvenated. It's actually six R's for the week. But anyways, we are day seven today. And as you can see, I'm seated on the floor. My legs are elevated on the Rumblex Plus. And we're going to show you some ideas as to how you can work with combating restless leg syndrome or even plantar fasciitis if you're suffering from pain in your feet or pain in your legs that keep you from sleeping at night. We're gonna make you feel really, really good before you fall asleep on that pillow tonight and get all those hormones releasing so that your body can repair itself and you can wake up tomorrow feeling so much better. So we're gonna end tonight with the Aculux Foot Massager. It's going to be uh, used in order to recharge achy, sore, tired feet. If you happen to have neuropathy or have a decrease in circulation into your extremities because of autoimmune disease, or maybe you're just wanting to recharge your feet because you're an athlete and you're trying to get the best out of just really getting those muscles enriched. Uh, we're gonna end our, our series this week with the Aculex Foot Massager. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start my power and I'm gonna choose the P2 program because I like aggressive on the legs. And I'm going to go here on, um, let's see, gotta give myself a little room here. I'm just gonna lean back a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of moving my legs, kind of like windshield wipers is the easiest way to explain it. And if you don't want to move your legs, you don't have to, you can just actually just lay with your legs on top and just experience the vibration. Sometimes this right here just feels really good. You can pump your feet kind of like you're pushing on gas pedals, but rolling our legs side to side, we're able to get into the different compartments of our lower leg. We've got four main compartments of muscles that have the ability to compress when they are swollen over our arteries and our veins and our nerves and the connective tissue can get really tight over time, creating more tension. And so it almost feels like you're dragging tree trunks around. I have a lot of clients with lymphedema that talk about that. They just feel like their legs weigh like tree trunks and they're just dragging them. This is gonna make you feel so much lighter, like you're floating. Uh, the closer your legs are to the center, the less intensity you feel. And what I want you to think about doing is moving those toes while you are in contact with the platform. And so the wider your legs go, the more that you can feel this, uh, a little bit more aggressive. So you can, change some of this you can lay to the side if you want to um, you can actually put your feet directly on top and you can just lay back and feel this from your feet on top you can let your hamstring play on top of here this actually feels really really good i don't want to get up <laughs> feels wonderful but the night must go on so if you can just get in one to two minutes per area of your calves, those different compartments. You can even flip over onto your belly and do this on your quads. I'll show you how to do that and that's how we're gonna end. So we're gonna go face down. Now make sure that you should put a mat on top of your platform so that you don't accidentally turn it off because I have a tendency to do that. But we can roll our legs side to side and really experience that massage on our sore quads if you have sore quads, hip flexors. And I just tap it off because I didn't put a mat on. So make sure you lay a mat or a towel. You can even use a towel over the top of it so you don't accidentally touch the ever so sensitive control panel. It's one of the great things about Life Pros. You can use your toe to adjust it if you really wanted to. But it also has its disadvantages is that if you happen to let your clothes rub over the top of the platform, it turns it on and off. So let's go ahead and finish strong with our Aculex here. I am going to set my foot inside of this. I remember the first time I ever experienced this, it was just like a heavenly massage. But you wanna get your feet inside of it first, and then it has an on-off button on the, on the switch on the back, which I just turned on. And not only do we have air compression, we've got vibration, we've got heat, and we've got several different levels of intensity. So right now, everything is starting to close in, so I can actually pick the unit up. That's how much compression is on my foot while these little acupressure needles are pushing on the bottom of my feet and there's also little roller balls that are kneading. So it feels absolutely wonderful. So if you have tired feet, you've got neuropathy, you have plantar fasciitis and you just need something to give you a little kind of relief 
while you are just sitting back and relaxing. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, foot massagers that you can use from the convenience of home without having to have a therapist coming and working on you. So it's like getting a foot massage, like a pedicure every single day. Like who doesn't want that? It feels so good. And it's not somebody touching you. So you kind of know in some ways what's coming, but you have different ways of choosing. You can choose a higher level speed. You can change the mode in which direction that everything moves. You can turn the heat on and off all different kinds of wonderful features, but I'm going to experience this and enjoy my evening before I go to bed. But I wanted to say thank you for joining me in all of this because it has been so much fun sharing how you can work on a better version of you through rest and relaxation and recovery, promoting better sleep so that we can refresh, recharge and feel rejuvenated for better tomorrow. So make sure you do your journaling tonight if you haven't already done that. What are you grateful for? What is the best thing that's happened to you today? What are your goals for tomorrow? And where did you possibly fail? Because we all have to fail in order to be able to grow and learn. So I hope you have a wonderful evening. Dream really, really big. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.